Welcome back to some shiny hunting, random shiny hunting Dynamax adventures. Hello there, Mr. Mash. I'm doing very well today. Glad to see you guys You guys liked the draft league analysis video. Yes, we have a Godzilla-themed draft team. I wanted to put in some clips from uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters for, throughout the video, but those got uh, content ID hit, so... Yeah, that was not fun, but we got it. Hello there, Kayla. We're doing our usual random Dynamax adventures, shiny hunting, with uh, random DAs. Oh, nice! Blorb camping fun. Lemon. How you doing, Mudkip? Go rest, Blorb. You Mudkip, I've been doing a lot of uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6. You, the, the, the Dark Knight upgrade of the Super Monkey is absolutely broken. I love that there's literally a, a Batman upgrade. Hello there, not a monkey. Welcome in. Wow. Hello there, j -Rad. How do you do today? How do you do? How do you do? Four hours of balloon start on the deck. Fun. Won't be able to join tonight, at least not for a while. Hope you can do something at least funny. Random Latias. I swear, if we get a freaking random Latias during this whole thing, I'm gonna freaking throw something out of a window. Been doing a lot more. It's, again, Balloons Tower Defense is fun. Balloons Tower Defense is fun. But yeah, no, uh, today's thing was quite good. Today was uh, quite good today. Groudon. I mean, yeah. Gr if we get a Groudon today, I'll be happy. We're gonna getting all the Monkey Meadows badges. Good luck on that. Right now, I'm just kind of going for all the like the Easter egg things for all the free instant monkeys, cause I I need to get used to using instant monkeys. Mudkip, I leave the game running. Like M Mudkip, I have the game open basically all day, even if I'm not playing and I'm working on other things. I just like the background music. It's very soothing background music. By the way, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you all. I have all the ones that aren't chimps. I have the maps. I never use instant monkeys. I just correct them. What? Oh, you just collect them. See, I am collecting them until uh, so when I do impoppable mode. Max, can you find the Easter egg in Candy Falls? Mm, not sure, but well, welcome in. Um, hello there, Xander. Welcome in. All right, let's get going. Our first Dynamax adventure of the night. Could be glorious. Yeah, we have no clue what we're fighting, so just go with what are generally decently strong Pokemon. I recommend the Halucha here. The only time I really use is half cash. Yeah, half cash or impoppable is what I am using them for. I don't use them in regular play, because it's like, why would I use instant monkeys in a regular play? Yeah, half cash and impoppable is kind of a pain. Oh boy, dragon. This gives literally zero context for things. Um, alright, alright, alright. I mean, I guess we just go for Dura. We go, we go, we go Nido Queen, we go Skun Tank, and then we go for Dura. Um, we're going for random legendaries. We do not have a specific target in mind. We are just going for anything and everything at the moment. I don't know, I, I struggle with the DDTs. Granted, um, I think uh, a friend of mine told me the way to absolutely clown on DDTs, which is the freaking, uh, freaking, uh, glue monkey, because that can slow down DDTs, because, of course I got that, because once you slow a DDT down, it, it becomes fairly, it's like 300 HP, I think. Oh, uh, what do I really want for a shiny? Well, I mean, we need to shiny on everything. So, again, we're doing a living shiny decks. But... You suck. Uh, 31 of the pond. Some over 300. Uh, 2 degree 99 paragons. Eventful some gold. Uh, really, the, the, the legendary shiny I would love tonight would be if we can get, like, shiny... Well, not. Well, the thing is... 
The shinies I would like to get are the shinies that are really, really difficult to get via Dynamax Adventures, because, like, they're the, 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 the hard Dynamax Adventures. And I kind of want to save those for, you know, future streams when the channel's bigger, so, you know, we can do longer stream hunts. Um, I guess, like, Latios is one that I would like to get now. Because, like, normally, like, oh, yeah, I'd like to get, you know, say, you know, oh, yeah, that would be cool to get, you know, I don't know, Palkia, but, like, Palkia is a shiny I would like to do in the future, because, again, it's such a, a rare, like, it's, it's a hard Dynamax adventure, and those generally do well. I mean, you know, I mean, well, then again, I don't even know what I'm saying, because last night when we did freaking Tornadus... That was one of my, that was my single best stream that was not the Charizard, uh, day. Which, that was a fluke of nature freak accident. Um, just go for Throat Chop. Just, just go for Throat Chop on the Halucha. Surprise, sucker! Uh, Lead Poppable Grandmaster Ninja with a few buffs, does it? Wait! So, when you say lead to Pavel Grandmaster Ninja, do you mean have it be under the influence of a um, MIB's village buff for that? Also, 05 with camo detection does do the best. Yeah, um, I, I'm trying to get the Dark Knight upgrade for it because I realized if you have the Dark champion uh, upgrade, then those batarangs it throws do puncture DDTs. Oh, clarify sniper. Okay. Yeah. I mean, anything that, you know, it, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the thing about DDTs is that they're fast and they're just new. So, if you can just output a lot of uh, damage on a DDT fast, they're just kind of a joke. That's one of the reasons I've been kind of going, okay, we'll just go Sun God with, um, you know, Sun Avatar with... No, it's not, yeah, Sun Avatar, not the Sun God, we don't have the temple yet. Uh, Sun Avatar Super Monkey with camo detection and, like, max range, because one... Hello, Michaela. Because one thing my friend Echo mentioned is it doesn't specify this. But, I'm actually going to swap after this. Um, all, all of the range increases for the Super Monkey also add Pierce. They don't, they don't st state that, but you do get increased Pierce. Alright, so we switch out the Halucha for... I, I said we go for Scun Tank. Jackson, I said we go for the Scun Tank. Also, if you lose a life, you could get, like... We well, yeah, remember, if you're doing... Impoppable mode, you only have one life. You've only, you've only got one life of Impoppable mode. Me and the lad are using the Shadow Magic and Trauma Maker, because why not? Me and the lad using Shadow Magic and the Trauma Maker. What, what's, what's the Trauma Maker? What, 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 what is the Trauma Maker? I don't follow. <sighs> Also, again, you guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more. What is your favorite ghost Pokemon? That's a good question. Um, part of me wants to say Drifblim. Because I freaking love that thing. It very amuses me. Uh, I freaking love Drifblim. It's all good, Jackson. It's all good. Hello there, Cookie SMG4. Welcome in. Hi, hey, Rosie. Oh, Rosie, I'm going to ask why your name is Cyndaquil. Why is your name Cyndaquil? I have several questions. Also, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on the stream. Oh, Chandelure is also a great one. The main reason I love Driftblim is that I've used it very, very well in Draft League, and Driftblim in Draft League is just incredibly fun, but I mean, Chandelure is also a freaking unit, and I love that thing. Because Unova number one. Unova is number one. Um, but let's look at my favorite ghost types. Don't care much for Gengar, Ms. Magius is really- that, yeah, Ms. Magius is the only ghost type in Gen 2, now that I think about it. Uh, but that's okay. 
Dust Glops. Okay, enough. Um, none of those. Um, Dust Glop, yeah. Gen 4, the Gen 4, there's a couple of cool ghost types. You got, you know, Dust Noir. I do, I do, I like Dust Noir no, no, more, more than most. I, I do like Dust Noir more than most. That's like, um, Dust Noir, do prove cool. Spirit, Spirit, the thing is, Spirit Tomb I don't care for as much as most people do. I think it's just kind of, yeah. Um, I do like Giratina again. I mean, the Giratina again is pretty really cool. Uh, Ro yeah, right, Rotom is, is pure ghost, and, uh, Rotom base one's a ghost. Uh, Chandelure, Kafagrigus, Jellicent, Aegis. Was there another ghost type added in Generation 6 other than Aegis Lash? Well, the Aegis Lash family, I guess? I can't think about that. Uh, Marsha. I would need to look at all the ghosts, but I feel like, yeah, I'd probably think Chandelure and Drifblim are probably, like, the two top ones for me. So, Oshawa, change her to Snorlax, a streamer who knows the chance of name a lot, said she's probably gonna change her name to Cynical for God's sake. Rosie, you're predictable at this point. Ah, Phantom! Trev Trevenant and Gorgeist, thank you. I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know Kalos stuff, thank you. Oh, Sableye was Gen 3. Yeah, I, I don't really, like, Sableye is pretty cool. Um, I, I know Sableye mostly for VGC tech, but on its own, it's just kind of eh. I don't know, it's, it's, it's gremlin. It's, it's very gremlin. Been for two weeks, and also that's fun. Rosie! I forgot about Galarian Corsola in Corsola. I forgot about that one. Also, Runa Rigus. I hate that thing. Oh, wait! How could I forget about Golurk? How could I forget Golurk for my beloved Unova? Again, there's some, there's a lot of cool ghost types. I mean, switch out for Baskul, switch the Baskul out for uh, Gloom. I mean, it's got Moonblast, so at least that's. Well, then again, we're switching out for the uh, the Dura. Can't chat, but switch. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Gen Six is Kalos. Gen Six is Kalos. Who's Mega those out of Gen Six? Kinda. Um, I am not a big fan of Mega Evolutions at all. I, I, I am not a fan of Mega Evolutions. In fact, I, I would kind of say a Mega Evolution detracts from a lot of them. No, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll keep Wise Glasses because I, I at least have special moves. Hey, Ash, thank you very much for the raid. Thank you very much for the raid, Ash. Well, I might have changed my, been watching Razzy. Wait, is Razzy the one that knows you change your name a lot? Is Razzy the one? But yeah, switch out the gloom for Dura. About Bennett. Bennett was Gen 3. Bennett is Gen 3. Uh, Summer, please chill with the caps. Uh, favorite Pokemon is Metagross. Razzy knows I change your name. You should have just said it's Razzy. I know Razzy. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. It's all good. It's all good. Doesn't affect me. I'm immune to your paralysis shenanigans. All right, yeah, at least one's the only thing you got against this thing. Okay. Again, you guys haven't done so already. Don't forget to subscribe for more. The stream some Splatoon 3 salmon run, but chat was pretty quiet. Still need the wonderful viewers who love you. Thank you very, very much, Ash. One of the mods go grab Ash's link, please. Fortune Hello there, Fire Ramar. How are you doing tonight? I know that. I don't remember if it was watching him over the same chat. Oh my gosh. I mean, granted, Rosie, you and I do have about the same mental attention span. What's your favorite route? Oh, uh, what do you mean, favorite route one shiny? Do you mean, like, shiny of a Pokemon that is on route one? Hey, Jackson, how are you doing? Um, I don't really know. The the Route 1 Pokemon generally never stood out to me particularly well, but I guess, I mean, I guess Furret, because like, Furret does have a fantastic shiny. Well, then again, I guess Route 1 is also where you find Corviknight, and I do really love Corviknight's shiny, so I guess it... T tie between Corviknight and Furret, which is a pretty close tie. I'm doing very well today. 
People ask me, what's my favorite ghost type Pokemon? Me. All of them. You sound exactly like Midnight. Well, then again, Midnight loves Giratina, so... Yeah. Uh, tie between Furret and Corviknight. I mean, if I get the shiny on this one, I mean, this just goes in the giveaway bin. Going to my Weezer. Bye bye, Blob. Goodbye. See you later. So I'm, I am, I am very happy. Godzilla Kong: The New Empire is approaching four hundred million dollars in revenue. I'm happy. Us, there we go. Yeah, switching out. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond happy. Like that, that movie is doing so well. Um, I have a dog. A Samoyed. She actually just turned 13 a few days ago. I was scrolling through Shores live stream. Hello there, Haunting Haunter. Welcome in. We actually were just talking about ghost types. How do you do? Welcome in. Hello there. Um, we are shiny hunting random legendaries. We have no particular target. We're just doing random Dynamax adventures with viewers. And we encounter one of the hardest Dynamax adventure shinies to fight of all of them. Dialga. Um, this does not look good for our hero. So, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, and wish us luck against Dialga. There, there's a legitimate case that can be made for Dialga being, like, the third hardest Dynamax adventure fight. Like, there's a video we are working on that is, is basically, is Zygarde actually the hardest Dynamax adventure shiny hunt, or is it... Growl on her Kyogre because there's a legitimate case to be made because Zygarde it's low power You know, it's it, it all spread move spam But if you're flying type or if you have you know a resistance to ground It's really not that big of an issue, but you go up against a Groudon Well Groudon's got a much higher attack set and a much more powerful move set you know gr uh, Groudon is hitting for maybe 75% more power than Zygarde, at the bare minimum 50% more power. So, even if you resist, it's still doing a lot of damage. You know, whereas, like, Zygarde, if, you, if you're if you a grass type and you're fighting Zygarde, like, yeah, you're not doing as much to it, but it's not doing much to you. Alright, right, pressure, alright. Um, oh yeah, for once, like, the Drake Cloak actually does hit good damage. So, this is good that breaking the swipe and the burn is in play, because Dialga's moveset is largely physical. Not exclusively physical, it does have some special moves, but it does have a, a good number of physical moves, and so breaking swipe and the burn kind of kneecap that. Hello there, Alexander. Zygarde is very difficult. Yeah, Zy Zygarde is very difficult. The thing about Zygarde is, it's kind of like a 0-60 zero or a, a zero to 60 fight. It's either you utterly clown on it, just purely on team composition, or you just get stonewalled. Whereas with things like D uh, Groudon, you can have empirically a good matchup against Groudon, but it still beats you before it does anything because its moves are so much more powerful. And Kyogre is kind of the same thing where, you know, if, if you're going up against Kyogre, well, it's got, uh, it's got Ice Beam which kind of clowns on your grass types and electric types which aren't weak to uh, which aren't which aren't weak to ice beam they take neutral damage from rain boosted surfs and rain boosted origin pulses so kind of not a great thing there I'm gonna lurk at 3 a.m uh go have some good rest on my 50th one again it's Zygarde's difficulty is sheer spread damage, whereas with things like Groudon, Kyogre, and a few others, it is... they excel at point damage where they can easily one-shot you. Zygarde can't really knock you out to the same capacity something like a, Grou uh, a Groudon or a Kyogre can. Um, time zones, because time zones can suck a railroad spike. But yeah, Zygarde is difficult. Zygarde is a very difficult one. Again, there's a lot of Dynamax Adventures that are pretty difficult. 
Hello there! I, uh, hello Zayden, I have no idea how to pronounce that last name, but thank you very much. Hello Maxis, I am General of the Cat, for those who get laws, if we want his rim. Time to suddenly make him feel like dogs. Okay! Sounds good. I'm British. Ah, yes, time zones again. Time zones can suck a railroad spike. They can indeed suck a railroad railroad spike. Of course, Drake Club. And no, 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 no. Dragon Rush is less accurate than Willow Wisp. Why is it like, the thing I don't get is why is it going for Dragon Rush and not clicking Shadow Ball? Dialga's got lower special defense than physical defense. I feel like that would make up the differential to go actually for Shadow Ball over that. Uh, it is 9.50 where I am. USA, Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if he was making a joke. Hello, Nightbot. How did you crash Bloons Tower Defense 6, Mudkip? I have several questions. I have, I'm... You, you concern me frequently, Mudkip. You frequently concern me. Wait! Dialga just has no animation when it did that. It just it just didn't move. But I think we I think we lose here. If only a fairy fire type existed. Well, I mean that wouldn't really change much. That wouldn't really change a whole lot. Alright, we got knocked out. Start replay buffer. Let's go update our Random hunt counter to 123. No shinies. Thank you very much, whoever just subscribed. I used a 555 spike factory and spawned 999 bads. That explains it. That explains it, Mudkip. Yeah, we did not have a great matchup anyway for Dialga. That That is one of the hardest Dynamax adventures going in blind. I am not going to keep track of a Dialga path thing, because eventually I will get a shiny Dialga in a Beast Ball. That is that is a goal. But if anybody wants to join for random Dynamax Adventure... Well, Fairy Fire would be neutral to Steel. But the thing is, Dialga would still be neutral to both Fairy and Fighting. So it wouldn't really fix much. Again, one of the reasons why Dialga is one of the hardest Dynamax Adventures is... Its only weaknesses are ground and fighting, and out of it, out of the four possible, actually, we know four, fire, fighting, ground. Yeah, out of the six possible weaknesses, either of its type combinations could show you as having so dragon, which has three weaknesses, or steel, which has three weaknesses itself. Only two of those weaknesses it actually has. So if you see a dragon type, all of those things it was it's neutral to. Uh, but link code is live. If you would like to join, feel free to join. Uh, Jackson, please let us make the pathing. Please let us be the first one in. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, again, Dialga is a very difficult one because go going in. If you know you're fighting Dialga, it's a it's an easier fight because you know, well, it's it's Dialga. You want to go for fighting. You want to go for ground moves. Whereas if you just see dragon type or you just see steel type. You don't know what one it is because there's a lot of dragon types there that out there. All right, let's go again. Ah, uh, yes, fire ice does exist. That is Galarian Darm. Uh, Galarian Darmanitan Zen mode specifically, or as I prefer to call it, Galarmanitan. But yes, it does exist. Yeah, specifically happens when you get Galarian Darm with Zen mode to half health, higher speed, higher physical attack stat. Very terrifying. Use it before in a draft league. I love it. Little, it's a, it's a bit tricky to actually get to work because you you need to chip it. You need to deliberately sack its own HP, but it hits like a freaking freight train. I I still prefer Gorilla Tactics on it, but I mean again, you really can't deny that kind of power. Yeah, there there's a few type combinations that they have not made a Pokemon for yet. Uh, Dragon Bug is one of them. Uh, Fire... No, no, Fire, um... Fire Fairy is one of them. They have not made Ground Fairy yet either. Again, if anybody wants to join the Dynamax Adventures, feel free to join. 
That is the reason we do Dynamax Adventures with viewers. Because Dynamax Adventures is the least effective method of shiny hunting for legendaries. If you want to shiny hunt legendaries, the best way is to do it in Soft Reset back in Ultras and Ultra Moon. But it is most fun to do it with you guys. Ice poison is deserved. Oh yeah, there is no ice poison yet. Yeah, that's... Like... I'm not sure how good ice poison as a typing would be, though. My last name is pronounced... Trosh. Okay. Trosh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, go and please deal with the caps. Poison fire. Uh, we already have poison fire. That is Salazzle and Iron Moth. I Iron Moth. I love the future paradoxes. But Iron Moth hurts me. It should have been fire electric. If it was fire electric, I would love that thing. Because this is, this is kind of the issue that poison type Pokemon struggle with is more often than not, the poison subtyping adds far more liabilities to a Pokemon than it does benefits. Generally, whenever there is a Pokemon that is a poison type that is good, it is... the, the, the it being poison is very low on the list of things that make it good. A uh, good example is Gengar. Gengar is fantastic because it is fast, has a very high special attack, and is a ghost type. Broadly unresisted damage, and now gets things like Nasty Plot, as well as a good coverage move pool. Venusaur. It is a fantastic Sun Sweeper with Chlorophyll. Ooh, I'll, you, I'll take that. Ah, uh, Toxicroak. Fantastic because it's access to dry skin, giving a flat immunity to water, and makes it fantastic in rain. Uh, Sneasler, Unburden. You know, a lot, a lot, hello, Jade. Yeah, a lot of poison types are generally very good for reasons outside of being poison. And it generally adds more liabilities and strengths because it's only good against grass and fairy. And generally, steel does that job better. I did not talk smack about Salazzle Jade. I simply said fire poison as a typing exists, and how much physical pain freaking Iron Moth puts me in. Yes, there is poison flying. That is the Zubat family. Hello, King Capybara. So, we switch out Clink Clang for the Frostlass. Jade, you can simply replay the stream. Rewind the thing like 10, not even, maybe not even 10, like 7 minutes. Play it at double speed, you'll see exactly what I was saying. I was saying Iron Moth hurts me because it should have been Fire Electric. And that poison generally does not add as many benefits as it does liabilities to a Pokemon. Excuse me. I'm with Christian, so you're off the hook. I mean, we, we are not a Splatoon band, but thank you, Jade. See, 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 Jade, Jade trusts me, Mudkip. I'll do it because I saw a shiny Corviknight, so I messed up zero, didn't know it was shiny. Didn't know how to target them. Yeah, I didn't know how to target stuff early on either, because I had a Magneton that was shiny that was really high above me. I was like, how the freak do I target? How do I catch this thing? I can't reach it. And it was like, oh, lock out with the Z button. Hello, Mr. Mag King Magnum, and the legend of the Pokemon Legends Akias. Very nice! Take a giant iron bundle. Yes, there is rock fire. That is Colossal. I do like Colossal. Although Macargo. Well, Macargo existed well before that. But yes, Magcargo Mag Vast. Also, again, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. We are, we are going to be working on the ASMR Pokedex readings in the future. I don't, you smell like a wet steak and dehydrated lobster. Okay. Okay. Um, remember, Jackson, don't use status moves. Just, just go for attacks when it comes to fighting things. Don't use status moves. 
Yeah, a, a lot of people tend to forget about Magcar go fast. A lot of people forget about Magcar go fast. I mean, the smell of steak and lobster is a very good smell. I know that because I literally had that for my birthday a week ago. So, yes, that is a good smell. Uh, there are Dragon Steel types. That is Dragapult, uh, not Dragapult, Duraludon, Dialga, and Archaladon is Dragon Steel. Dragon Fairy no longer exists. Uh, that was exclusively Mega Altaria, and Megas no longer exist until Legend ZA happens again. We are fighting a Musharna. Technically, Musharna is not sleeping. Yes. Yeah, competitive Pokemon is kind of my one singular brain cell focus. Dragonite. No, Musharna is not sleeping. Musharna is awake. It just simply eats your dreams. Musharna is not Komala. It is not in a coma, Jade. Jade. No more artillery. I I am gonna be keeping the artillery, because we're facing a psychic type legendary, and I would like to keep it because I have acid spray. Yeah, Maractus is pretty underrated. Maractus is pretty underrated. Again, this, this is a half Godzilla propaganda channel, half Unova propaganda channel. Welcome in. Yeah, we go for the... Yeah, we go for this. We go for the Frost Lass. We go for Frost Lass. No more Mushtan. Nah. Maractus is the most memorable, forgettable Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of really cool Pokemon Gen 5 added. What's your favorite grass type Pokemon? Ooh, fun, fun, fun question. Might sound basic, but I do like Ferrothorn. Um, I need to go look through all the grass type Pokemon, but. I'm fair. Yeah, maybe Kartana. I, I, actually, no, no, it's, it's gotta be Kartana. It's gotta be Cardi Face. It's all fun and games until you KO a shiny. Well, the thing is, we don't know if it's shiny or not. We we don't know if it's shiny or not. Dude, you still mad at me for what I did with Darkrai? I don't know. What I, got. I respect Whimsicott competitively. I respect it. <laughs> Dude, you're still mad at what I did with the Darkrai. Ah, uh, yes, j j uh, Mudkeep did unspeakable crimes with a dark Ryan in random battles. I don't enjoy poison and slander, but I wrote about her own opinions. I mean, for me, it's practicality when it comes to poison. Like, that that is not really a, a slander against poison. It is the practicality issues of poison type. Generally, poison types tend to struggle because of their offensive profile, and... The, the general weakness to the omnipresent earthquake, which ground is... No, I'd, I'd, I'd say ground is the best offensive typing, is the best offensive type in the, in the series, because it, it has five super effective matchups, and unlike fighting where one of them is normal type, all of grounds are very, very valuable super effectives. Well, let me get this poison, but like, yeah, there are still occasionally poison types as fairy answers. I'm gonna give I have the energy of Elam. That's dark! How do you get legendaries? Um, snacks worth. You need to have the indigo disc. I actually haven't done any snacks worth legendary quests. Uh, Jade's probably just very, very, very tired. Jade is very. Colorful, let's just say, with how they describe things. Switch out the cl clang for the frost lass. Not slightest, I took a break from stream for a reason. 
No, 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 no. Why did it not scroll down? At least it switched out the right one anyway. That's good. Okay. So, we go for Pangoro. Are you going to Shiny Hunt? Are you going to Shiny Hunt there next? You cannot Shiny Hunt the Legendaries in Scarlet Violet. They are all Shiny Locked. That's the reason we're doing Dynamax Adventures. Is It is the only way to get the Shinies. Meta, if I take the mods to the monkey, will you take the mod to the Monterey Bay Aquarium? <laughs> um, I don't even know where that is. Feel the shiny. I have no idea what that is, Squishy Adam. I have no idea what that is. Can I please take the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I don't know where that is. I don't know where Monterey Bay is. Okay, but I, I don't know what state Monterey Bay is in. He is fighting Kung Fu Panda. Exactly. Well, yes, but I don't know what state it is in the United States of America. In the U.S. of A. Ultra Wormholes. No, the Ultra Wormholes in Ultra Sun and Moon, they are the white portals. They are the white portals. It is an open state. People can enter. So it's not Ohio, then. Noted. Wait, 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 what, what, what? Okay, this is kind of the funniest thing about Godzilla Kong the New Empire coming out, because again, this got, this is, this is literally a Godzilla propaganda channel in disguise as a gaming channel. The best thing is, I see things like, you know, oh yeah, uh, Godzilla collab for this series. That's absolutely great. Oh, it's California. No, it's California. Jade, the Californians. The Californians, Jade. Bonk. That's fine. What is the goofiest evil team? Why is it Team Yell? Well, the thing is, I wouldn't consider Team Yell evil. I would say Team Skull. Like, like, okay, Team Team Skull like, is also again not like genuinely evil. Um, I feel the Misfortune Sisters would qualify as that. Hello, Raymond. How do you do? Californians only suck in New Jersey. <laughs> well, and New York again. We can joke about that because we're from New Jersey and New York. Kaboom! I will take... You in a luxury ball, because I still need to shiny view. Yeah, I mean, my, my hunt for Pangoro is going to be accelerated when it comes to uh, Legends ZA coming out, because we are saving the, uh, the shiny hunts of a number of Alola... Uh, not a Lola, a, a number of Unova Pokemon and a number of Kalos Pokemon until the respective remakes happen. Anyways, Mudkip, can I DM you a quote related to the Dark Rye? Oh, Jade, I would like to know what this quote is myself. Now, my only hope is we're not fighting Solgaleo. Hello there, Emerald. How do you do, friend? Oh, yes, please. I've already got this shiny. It is time to clown on Cresselia. I'm kind of glad the National Dex is gone for practicality reasons. Which sounds controversial. Like the reason why is this. Imagine... Needing to catch 1,025 Pokemon to get the shiny charm. In, a, in, in every game where you are not able to use Pokemon Home for the first, what, four or five months? That, that, that I think, is, is the ultimate determinator for whether or not, like, it, it, whether it is a good or bad thing for the, the National Dex to come back is... 
Would you enjoy getting 120? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how many Pokemon there are. 125 Pokemon. That means doing all the evolution BS for things like Palafin. For all the evolution BS for Galarian Yamask. Uh, Surfetch, where you have to land three critical hits in a single fight. Yeah, like, the removal of the national decks, there are, like, three major reasons why the removal of the national decks is a good thing. One of them is just pure practicality. You know, it is, it is, it is plain and simple. The national decks would not be enjoyable to have and fill out. People would not fill it out. Um, but the other reason for it is by removing a number of Pokemon temporarily, it actually allows players to use a lot of their favorite Pokemon that were left in because they're actually able to shine and do things they never were able to before. The best example of this, and the archetypical example for why I always bring this up as a positive, is people have wanted Flygon to be fantastic for, for literally over two decades. And it's always struggled, especially since the release of Garchomp. But when Sword and Shield released, Garchomp was not in the decks at the start. Landorus was not in the decks at the start. All of the big ground types were not in the game. Except for Flygon and except for Mamoswine. And that let Flygon shine. Flygon was the top of the game. It was so good. And it had that for a, for over a year until Garchomp made its return. You had Pokemon like Lapras, which people have always wanted to be good. It was great for the first time. There's a lot of Pokemon that people have really, really wanted to be good that never had a chance to stand out. And then they removed a lot of these big dominant Pokemon and they absolutely excelled. Which is one of the reasons why I will say, like, the dex removals are a good thing. That th there is some, well, not, not empirically, but there is some good that does come from the dex removals. Because, again, it's, it's all temporary. Every Pokemon will return in a future game. It's just they may sit a generation out, or they may sit a game out. The funny thing is, it wasn't even GMAX Resonance. It wasn't even GMAX Resonance that was Lapras's biggest claim to fame. It was it was freeze dry access. It was being a good freeze dry user in a meta game of a lot of very good water types. I have no idea what that is, Jade. No shiny Musharna, no shiny Frostlass, no shiny Pangoro, no shiny Cresselia, unfortunately. Nope, no shinies. Again, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more, leave a like, and if you want to join in some Dynamax adventures, feel free to join. Link code is 192837468. And me and Bruns. Bruns. See, Mudkip, that's the reason why I don't trust you. If we Again, if we get to 10k by the end of the year, yes, we will do Drunken Jackbox. And things like that will happen, but only if we get to 10k by the end of the year. <laughs> the seals when we run. I like how you have my like stream minimized while watching the um the Monterey Bay. You're the side stream now. The otters are now the. Ma I mean, fair enough. Fair enough, Mudcap. The otters are indeed the good beans. We have a shiny Mimikyu. Yes, we actually do have a shiny Mimikyu. We actually have an extra shiny Mimikyu. Because in the course of our Dynamax adventures, we got a shiny Mimikyu after already getting that shiny back in Ultra Moon. So when we do our next shiny giveaway, one of the shinies that will be up for the giveaway is a Mimikyu shiny. Uh, playing the game Jackbox while drunk. Uh, but if you want to see... Hello there, Tyler. That's it. Hello there. Uh, but if you want to see the first little snippet of Drunk Maxis, 
You're gonna need to watch the Metroid Samus Returns Let's Play. Uh, yes, there is a Drunken Maxis segment of that series, and it's, it's a good, it's a good seven, eight videos. Out of, out of a, you know, 35 video series, so that, there, that, that is a significant part of the game. As well as fighting a lot of bosses drunk, so, uh, that's fun. Favorite shiny mythical... Probably gotta be Jirachi. I really do like Jirachi. Hello there, Gator Street. Uh, do you know? Still got all three Unova Genius left in Dynamax Adventures, but still got Shiny Dialga. Nice! We love Dialga. Alright. Remember? One rule of Dynamax Adventures. Listen to the streamer instructions. Take the Sharpedo. Foxy. Jackson, I want you to take the Leron. Foxy, I said to take the Sharpedo. Me and the Buzz warp in space because we need to see the new worlds. I mean, I love Jirachi. It is... I love my flinch hacks. Like, there is... There is... Even though... There, there, there are... I love my flinch hack. Okay, fairy. Okay, that's not great. Alright, we are holding on to that Leron. We are holding on to that Leron. We go for the Bonehead. We go for the Marowak. Yes, Cresselia is a legendary, not a mythical. Themethier. Hello there, Marvel Studios. Hello there, Marvel. Welcome back. Foxy, I want you to switch out for the Marowak. It's all good. It's all good. But again, the one rule of DAs. Listen to the instructions of the streamer. Do not pick immediately. Wait for instructions. Again, these Dynamax adventures can take a long time to do. We want to do them as quickly and as one of them as quickly and effectively as possible. Oh, I'm scared of Mudkip. Gold experience, yes. What is that first GIF, Mudkip? Why is it Jolene? Why? I mean, it's adorable, but... I don't like Stone Ocean. Yeah, I've seen that gif before, Jade. I've seen that gif before. People in Ash's server love spamming it. I looked up Jojo. Ah, so it's like me getting the Caramella Dance in Nevada Wong and Leon Kennedy. Math checks out. That math checks out. You missed! You freaking missed! Caramella dancing! Yes, Jade. Do you, want, do you want me to resend that gift, Jade? Ah, uh, yes, the ACDC crying gif. Ah, uh, yes, the crying ACDC. There you go. All right, Jade, you asked for it. There you go. There you go. Jade. Nightbot is tweaking. Night, night, night. We don't question Nightbot. Nightbot does a lot of stupid things. Because it's Nightbot. I am forcing myself to do that dance. The dance is pure joy. That is that is a very happy dance. You can't help but smile. The Jade One. The Jade One. Switch out Togetic for Marowak. You're gonna go at it. 
How much have you been practicing that dance, Jade? I'm vaguely concerned. I'm vaguely concerned. Alright, let's go see what's left. Ooh, artillery, I'll go. Alright, we'll go for artillery next. None of these options are good for fighting that thing, so we just go fight the, uh, the Mr. Mime. Jay, did you break your spine while dancing? Nice. Don't we all, Jade? Don't we all? Also, that one I just sent, Jade, is my new favorite gif of all time. That, that gif is my new favorite one of all time, because, like, yes. That, that gif just puts a smile on my face. The space! The space! Remember, just use attacking moves. Do not use status moves. Is DMs true? DMs is very true, Jay. DMs is exceptionally true. DMs are exceptionally true. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, I do I do enjoy these these shenanigans, Jade. I do enjoy these shenanigans. Nightbot is omniscient enough. Night Nightbot is stupid is what it is. Night Nightbot is stupid is what it is. You to space. Yeah, just pile of just going out of there. I can't get from the back room. Do you really exist? I've never seen sometimes. I thought you gotta take that crap. Medicine, something. Um. Okay, I'll I'll send a Pikachu in DMs, Jade, because Pikachu is extremely stupid. Again, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Nightbot is indeed getting roasted. Remember, I'm just an AI. This, I, I, I am not real. I am an extremely lifelike VTuber model. The Allosaurus is the real brains behind the operations. I'm not real, I'm just an AI. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Exactly. Exactly, Lollipop. Am I real? I mean, isn't that the real... Isn't that the question all of us are asking? Emerald, isn't that the question all of us ask every day? Are we real? <sighs> that is the question. Go for the Octillery. I am neither. I am, I am, I am, I am neither of them. I'm gonna guess you just saw the Imidus and DM before this time. I, I've seen that meme before, Jade, yes. I've seen that meme before. No Johnny yet, Jackson. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my ADD medication is worn off, so you are dealing with 100% unhinged meta at the moment. Ah, yes, that meme. Ah, yes, that meme.
So the question is, Jade, the first, the second, or both is the question I'm asking. Oh, the fact that I survived that is, is freaking glorious. Favorite Jenny Mythical is Jirachi. Uh, we are not after any particular target. We are after everything. Hey, nice work, Drenzu. Very nice. That is a caps worthy thing. I have not. I have not. Well, I got I went out. Emperor Palpatine was defeated. Agree, Jade. I mean, I could go for some more bronze calamari. First shiny is a flaffy. Nice. Um, where do I get Angus George? In what game, Wilkins Santiago? Because I believe you do need. Uh, in which game? Scarlet? Ah, oh, not Scarlet. Sword and Shield? I believe you need to do a lot of the legendary clues, like catch the legendary birds, and then you get it. I believe that's what you have to do. Yeah, okay, yes. I believe you need to catch some of the um, the Galarian birds, I believe, and solve some legendary clues. You'll get, like, the It Came From The Ultra Beyond quest, and that's when you get it. All right, this, I like this. All right. Um, here's to hoping this is not Xerneas. Though, knowing me, we are going to be fighting Xerneas. And this thing can suck a railroad spike. I freaking called it! <sighs> no, you don't need to catch the Reggies. I, I, I don't think I caught the Reggies in my file. Okay, we um go for Max Flare against go for Max Flare. Max Flare does more damage than Max Steel Spike. Anyone anyway, say about Gardevoir? I don't care for Gardevoir. I prefer Gallade. I ask him that question every day, Mudkip. That's why it was not. Nice. Shiny Swim. Okay, that's that's okay. Okay, 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah, not good. Um, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh yeah, but ju just just use max flare. It does more damage. You can't use ingrain a second time. Nino shock. That's why we go for acid spray, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we go for acid spray. At least in the middle. All right. In before someone says, No, I just think Gardevoir's design is bad. Galade's design is actually interesting. Gardevoir is literally just a he's literally just a person in a dress. It's lame. At least Galade's got freaking dual disc arm blades. Like that 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 thing looks like it's ready to head to Battle City, which is absolutely metal, because I freaking love Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, based. Um, I, I have never seen Glitch, so I don't know what that is. Um, next turn, Leyron, use... Use Steel Roller next turn, Leyron. I'm gonna try to make maker. Hello, Jackson. See you, Jade. I'm so tired. I'm gonna do a new modest. 
Good luck, good luck on that, Jared. I wish you the best of luck on that. You gotta catch the veggies. You, catch... you do? I don't. I don't think I caught the Reggies in my file. I could have been wrong though. I. I have no idea what that is, Jackson. I have no idea what that is. Jackson, stop spamming. This is your last warning. Which is the mini studio or something? Like that. I mean, I. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what that is. One more Hades. Still figuring that out, Mudkip. Still figuring that out. For the last episode, uh, I have no idea what that is. Lurking. Hi, Lexi! Hi, Lexi. Come to the mods go grab Lexi's link, please. How you doing? Um, none of them, because they are not dogs. It's wild. They are cats. They are all cats. I don't dislike Jinx. It's more generalized indifference. Oh no, no, Lexi, we're doing random DAs. We just happen to find stupid deer. We happen to find the stupid deer. Yeah, no, it's, it's, there's very few Pokemon I, I absolutely despise. Most of it is just generalized indifference. Good Max on DM in the series. I prefer dogs. I am I am much more of a dog person. Uh Xerneas is a deer lollipop. It 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 is a deer. It it is it is very much a deer. You could indeed say it's a deer friend. It's Bambi. No, a lot of people call them dogs. Um, but no, they are all cats. Let's see. No shiny bonehead. No shiny mime. No shiny calamari. No shiny Zonius. Can we use Mega Absol? Raikou, Zebra, Duke. Yes, Raikou, Zebra, Duke. Yeah, um, Suicune's a leopard. Well, Suicune's a leopard and like 17 billion other things. It's a lot of stuff. Entei is a lion, and Raikou is a saber tooth tiger. Even though technically it's a saber tooth cat, because they're actually not related to tigers, but we all go on the saber tooth tiger. We all know the saber tooth tigers. Thank you very much, Ryle and Meth. We are bi we are big fans of Godzilla. See, this is this is not a gaming channel. This is a Godzilla propaganda channel in disguise as a gaming channel. Thank you very much. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more. Godzilla number one. Yeah, this, this is literally like, also Bambi ripping this one. I've actually never seen Bambi. Like, I, th this is something I frequently tell people is I have barely seen any of, like, the Disney classic movies. I don't think anything is getting a new Mega in the games. What have we said before? I need to be the first one to make the lobby. There are very few rules when it comes to Dynamax Adventures. I'm generally pretty cavalier about the whole thing. But. I need to be the first one to make the lobby. Also, I forgot to take up that thing. I'm going to put in this stream for propaganda. What is your favorite? Favorite shiny? That is Gigalith. Yes, Yeveltal is Bacon Bird. Link code is up. If you were in the last Dynamax adventure, please wait before joining the new one. After a minute and a half has passed, you can then join. We want to let everyone have a chance of popping in. You might have Disney move someone like Tangled from this. I've seen Tangled. You don't as well as No, you can join Dynamax Adventures if using a hotspot. As long as you have internet connection and you have Switch Online, you can join a Dynamax Adventure. I'm going to other stuff from Roblox. Yeah, I've seen Tangled. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't seen, like, the old, old Disney ones. I believe the ones... Um, 
I've seen Snow White, like the, the classic Snow White. Um... I don't think I've seen any of the others. Yeah, but not Bambi. Not Bambi. I have not seen Aladdin. No. Neither the remake nor the original. I've seen The Princess and the Frog, though. Again, I've seen... like I have seen very few of them. I've seen Treasure Planet, though. I've, I've seen that. Um, but again, like, you gotta remember, my childhood was not Disney movies. My childhood was Godzilla, Terminator, Predator, Alien, like, Transformers, like, my, my, my childhood was pretty metal. You know, I, 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 we, we didn't watch those, those soft, warm, and fuzzy Disney movies. I watched the heavy stuff. Um, all I will say is, I am older than 20, but less than 30. Like, I, I, I saw, like, I, I saw those movies when I was, like, seven. Maybe even six. Yeah, like again, it it's one of the reasons why when people ask me like, oh, why why did you never see like Fairly Odd Parents or SpongeBob? Is like, be be, be 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 because my my childhood was like action movies and like Danny Phantom and stuff like that. But mine was and still is Monsters and Dinosaurs. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. Every everyone loves dinosaurs. Like, some people, I'm not 28 now. And this is not going to turn into trying to guess my age. Yeah, it's like, you, everyone has a dinosaur phase. Some people just never leave it. Oh, right, that's what we got here. Oh boy, we're screwed. Okay, we lose. We're going for the Shinotic. We're going for the Shinotic, and then we're going for the Hitmonlee. He's actually 55 years old. Yeah, no, no, I'm, 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 I am, I am, I am, I am as old as Godzilla. I am, I am 70 years old. Shin Godzilla's favorite movie. So like Cartoon Network shows more. I'm still pissed. My spine in the wall. Based, I lost my spino to a neck glass. I'm sorry, what? Never give me money. I have too many Jurassic World figures. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, 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 no. We hold, we keep the man time. We don't go, for, we don't go for the other thing. Okay. Um, switch out knock towel for this. Switch out knock towel for uh. Mantine, freaking heck, my brain is paced. My brain is paced. I think it's really just... Yeah, I didn't see Sheen in theaters. Um, I was at college when Sheen came out. Yeah, I, I couldn't see it in theaters. I like dinosaurs. Power Rangers season one, the dinosaurs are blast. T-Rex, Mastodon, Pterodactyl. Again, everyone loves dinosaurs. Some people never outgrow it. I mean, li literally. Like, Godzilla, I mean, I love these movies. I mean, Godzilla is not technically a dinosaur anymore. Again, depending on the continuity, he's a dinosaur. Freaking awesome, I love these movies. Yeah, I like Chin. Like, this is the thing that I love about Godzilla as a franchise. It's that it doesn't matter how far removed we get from the original movie in terms of pure time. If you bring the movie back to the original premise, it still works. Which is something they have shown with Shin and Minus One. 
that it freaking works. Power Rangers are those. I have not seen Power Rangers. Like, one of the shows you'd expect me to have watched when I was a young one, I have not seen. I have not watched Power Rangers. Um, maybe at some point I'll watch Power Rangers. Maybe at some point. Though I did, I did watch Godzilla the series when I was younger. You know what? So, so here's the thing. We're probably going to be bringing movie reviews back to the channel at some point in the future. For those who don't know, this is my second YouTube channel. My first one crashed and burned about a decade ago. And that was movie reviews. So, we may be bringing movie reviews back to the menu. And at some point, when, uh, when we do that, I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla the series. You know, that, that, that TV show that followed up. Godzilla, the American one from 1998, which, I'll be honest, I don't dislike the 1998 American Godzilla movie. But I'm still waiting on the TV shows. Yeah, I mean, though, that means at some point I'll probably have to watch Godzilla Singular Point, and at some point I'm probably going to need to watch the Godzilla Netflix movies. I've, I've heard mixed things about the Godzilla Netflix movies. I know what they did to Ghidorah. They turned Ghidorah into space ramen. Godzilla's split mandible when he uses it. Oh yeah, Godzilla's creepy. Like, Shin Godzilla goes back to the horror roots of Godzilla. Because this is something that a lot of people who are familiar with modern Godzilla... I've already watched the Godzilla NES creepypasta. I watched it when I was younger. Creeped me out. Now it's just, it's super edgy. Hello there, BB Play. How you doing? Yeah, no, there there, there was a, a, I had, yes, there's a creepypasta. Uh, I had a creepypasta phase when I was younger. Like, again, I've, I've mentioned this before, and I'll, I'll mention it again. Uh, Jackson, switch out. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned this before, and I will mention it again. There was the edgy Maxis phase, and routinely, I will forever say this. If I could go back in time, I would throat punch him. I would go back in time and punch younger Maxis in the throat, because he deserves it. Exactly, again, like, it, again, it is the edge phase. The edge! See, 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 People who like creepypastas are pizza cutters. All edge, no point. <laughs> uh, that, that, that is not mine, by the way. I got that from Roanoke Games. Uh... I can't take credit for that. I wish I could, but I can't. Yeah, no, you know, yo, I got, I got that from Roanoke Games. Again, all edge, no point. He's a pizza cutter. <laughs> Cause yes, a pizza cutter is all edge, no point. It's so good. It's see the the, the, the one thing that is mine is hockey sticks are Canadian baseball bats. You went back in time and punched yourself. When does it develop out actually cause? Well, no. See, here's the thing. I wouldn't game end myself. I love BB Play. I'm doing well. Again, it, it's not a game ending, so it wouldn't cause a paradox. Yeah, you're doing me. What's up? Well, we're streaming cancel. There's a bunch of Well, if there's a bunch of me, I know I'll get a hand time travel. Look, yeah, no, no, I, I went through a very edgy phase, and again, it, I, again, I, I would throat punch younger Max, just because he highly deserves it. Oh, nice, getting salty and sour, Urban Mysticism Raid, nice. Again, y younger Max is d deserved throat punching. So, yes, there, 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 there are... High degrees of, of, of former self-loathing. 
But we, I mean, we're, we're, we're mostly finished with that. We're mostly over that. Yes, BB, we streamed it. Hello there, Keenan. How you doing? No, I want us to hold on to the Azumarill. I want us to hold on to Azumarill. I am going to switch out for Shinotic. Because in the event we're fighting Palkia, I kind of want Azumarill on the field. Which is also why I want us to keep the Jigglypuff. Time travel to punch. Yes, I would. I would do that, Zane. I would time travel to punch myself in the throat. Uh, we are after random Dynamax adventure things. We are after no specific target. Well, not, well not, no Pokemon would kill Giratina. Like, Giratina did nothing wrong. Like, we, we here are proud supporters of the Giratina did nothing wrong movement. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't go through an edgy phase. Was it a I mean, same here. We are in a terminally dumbass space. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more. Because after all, you guys are the absolutely wonderful people that keep everything around here going. We quite honestly could not do it without you. Hello there, BL... I have no idea how to pronounce the name, but welcome in! Um, alright. So, we can either go for the items and the Mitmanli, or we can go for the Absol for a shiny check. Whichever's up to you, I'm going in the interest of the easiest takedown. Giratina did nothing wrong. And again, don't forget to subscribe for more, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is not a gaming channel, this is a Godzilla propaganda channel in disguise as a gaming channel. I'm gonna take a quick claw, because maybe it's useful, maybe it's not. Quick claw. Ooh, shell belt, expert belt. Okay, that's not great items, but let's that's let's, again let's fluff around and find out. So we do not switch out anything here. There might be an end in friend, but there's no end in dumbass. Correct! Game over. Yeah, I mean again, we don't really have None of the fighting types we actually need for this, because our team right now is, what we, is, is all good. We already have Wide Guard. Mantine already has Wide Guard. We don't game here, actually. We just talk about Godzilla. Yeah, no, we, we talk about Godzilla, we talk about Unova, we talk about a lot of stuff here. You know, we already got Wide Guard in the form of Mantine. So here's the tricky part. Here's the tricky part. We're facing a water type. So either we're going to have an incredibly easy fight because the water type is Suicune. Possibly. Um, if it's Suicune, if it's Tapu Fini, we're going to be on absolute easy street. But... If it is Palkia, if it is Kyogre, we are going down to Pain Town. If it is... I believe that's all of them, actually. Yeah, no, there's no other... There's no Water-type Ultra Beasts, are there? Yeah, no, there's no Water-type Ultra Beasts. Yeah. There's no water Ultra Beast. That's weird. So, you like Godzilla. What's your thoughts on Tyrantrum? I love Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum is my absolute favorite Pokemon from Kalos. You know, I'm Godzilla propaganda. This is what the channel is. Yes, again, love. That is literally the channel. It's Godzilla and, and you know, propaganda. Maybe blah, 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 blah. The Gen 6 Water Legendary. There is no Gen 6 Water Legendary. The only thing you may be thinking of is Volcanion, but Volcanion's a mythical. That is not a legendary. Ah, uh, there is a difference between legendaries and mythicals. 
Good Maya Lego is made of glass. Yes, Naya Lego is made of glass. Have a good night, baby. Have a good, 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 good night. You know, we're probably gonna be ending. I don't know when we're gonna be ending tonight. Because again, it's 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 relatively late. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're not switching out. Do 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 do. Um, I mean, if it's Palkia. You Jackson, do not switch. I want to keep. Yeah, I want to keep the man because the man I got water absorb. Yeah, Volcanion's water fire. Nah, 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 that's the fun part. That's the fun part. That's the fun part. That's the fun part. Is everyone else? Oh, thank God, sweet This is gonna be a joke. Okay. Uh, everybody wail on this thing in the next year. Um, Jigglypuff, just spam use fake tears. Just use fake tears. Mantine, just use Air Slash. Uh, the difference, because it was... Yes, that is exactly the difference. The difference is mythicals are Pokemon that are available only via special events, or were formerly only available via special events. Uh, but yes, that that is the that is the different that's the different point. It is specifically the availability origin. Um, another sort of thing that you can use to tell whether something is a mythical or not, is check to see if it is allowed in battle facilities. In, you know, like, Generation 1, uh, Generation 3 onwards. Uh, but not allowed in, in official competitive either, because all mythicals are flat banned competitively. Do 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 armor rare to get? Well, no, just mythicals are limited to specific events. Basically, it requires something outside of the game itself to get. Whereas, legendaries are available in the game, mostly. Which is why Ultra Beasts are not legendaries, and Paradox Pokemon are not legendaries as well. Yes, again, it's, it's weird. No, Mythicals are not allowed in battle facilities. Mythicals are not allowed in battle facilities. Now... Granted, Restricted Legendaries are also not allowed in Battle Facilities. But, Restricted Legendaries are allowed in Competitive. And by that I mean VGC. Like, if you look at the VGC Restricted Pokemon list for, um, like, Regulation F. Uh, not Regulation F. If you look at the VGC Regulations for Regulation C, for, like, who is Restricted... That will basically tell you what mythicals are, because they're the ones that are flat banned. What about the four from the DLC? You mean the Paradox Pokemon? Those are those are Paradox Pokemon. Those are different. Those are a whole separate category. But those are paradoxes. Yeah, no, it's mythical legendary distinction is very confusing, mostly because in the West. We've only ever been told, like, they're, they're legendaries until relatively recently. And a lot of the old guard from the content creation still refers to them interchangeably. In a way, to a lot of confusion. The Vulture Beats aren't legendaries, and why is there more than one legendary in this game? Wait, Ultra Beasts are not legendaries. Then why is there more than one legendary in the same game? What do you mean by that, Wilkins? You mean, like, more than one legendary of a given type? Like, we gotta remember, when it comes to legendary Pokemon, there is not only one legendary of each species. Legendary just means they are exceedingly rare in the Pokemon world. That's the implication. You only get one for basically balance reasons per playthrough. I've never Paradox Pokemon only once. 
Yeah, that I think goes largely into so you can't catch a whole bunch of them and trade them to your friends so people don't need to not buy the DLC. That it it's really a way of basically getting people to have to get the DLC. Is really what it is more than anything. Walking Wake is no cool. Walking Wake is a paradox Pokemon. See, what walk they, they've kind of blurred the line between paradox between like legendaries and mythicals and things like that at this point. They've muddied the waters because they've done event exclusive things. But more likely than not, we are going to be getting an in-game obtainability of Walking Wake and Iron Leaves that is not tied to a specific Terror Raid event. Yeah, two red drugs were down, so why is it Remember, it's basically one catch per save fob. I mean, you can bring in as many legendaries as you want. It's basically, again... That's sort of an out of co outside of context problem where you're bringing in Pokemon from different games, because basically it is um, these are the games is, is a separate timeline. It's that that's we get into the alternate universe thing, and it's again, it's something that really doesn't make sense in context to have there be you no know, multiple legendaries get basically being transferred in, but. Yeah, again, it's weird. Again, I'm buddies things. Also, bikes are both legendaries and paradoxes. Yes, the the drag the bike dragons are both paradoxes and legendaries, but they also come from uh, alternate timelines. Got two characters so I can beat Volo. I mean, legendary mythical to the anime. Nah, what is the difference between legendary in the anime? Um, pretty much nothing because the anime is uh, the anime has its own rules. It's weird. Uh, but I think that is going to be all for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys haven't done so, oh, oh, Christian is raiding us. You know what? You know what? We'll do one more. We we'll, we'll do one more. How are you doing, Christian? If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, but go on to the mods, go grab anxious Christian's links. Remember, folks, everything's legend unless it isn't. Um, oh, dude, the art, so Galleon and Lenala, both legends, and Ultra Beasts. No, Ultra Beasts are classified as having the ability Beast Boost. Speci they, they need to specifically have Beast Boost as their ability to be called Ultra Beasts. That's one area where they absolutely are very, you know, hard and fast with the rules. That the, it, it is, it is a strict rule categorization. Because that's abilities. Uh, but link code is 19283746 if you would like to join. Feel free to pop in. Uh, although the Gen 4 starter, we're always scared that they're going to get to tough to turn tail and run is really fun to use. Well, what? Well, what? 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 I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, below there, Angus Christian, how do you do? Uh, you and your viewers. Um, is this thing working? Uh, is this, is this working? Christian? Hello? Mythicals make sense. Van Times based with DL. Gal, the legendary is taken to 15. Gen Pound. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, there we go, Angel Christian. Could you breathe those? No, you cannot breathe legendaries or mythicals. Hello there, Christian. One of the mods go grab uh, Christian Link. No, because or Ultra Beasts, they cannot be caught over the walls. Remember, Ultra Beasts are specifically ones that have the ability of Beast Boost. Though it is noted in the deck that it, Necrozma is like an Ultra Beast. Also, the Ultra Beasts cannot open up the Ultra Wormholes. They simply came through them. Because the Ultra Beasts are an invasive species. Ah, uh, could you be a bad Um, we don't know. Because, again, there, there is still the potential that the Ultra Beast, uh, not the Ultra Beast, that the Paradox Pokemon actually are not real. That they're literally just, like, created from imagination. Uh, but, yeah, we, we don't know. Manaphy only is exception. Yes! Fiona, Manaphy and Fiona are the kind of only exceptions, because, again, they're weird. Uh, again, nothing, we don't know what we're going for, so, pick anything. How you doing? Um, but how did the, um, yeah, the redirect sometimes works. Sometimes it works. Uh, welcome in, everyone, again. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. No shiny yet. Your light trio are weird because they come multi-base but are not 
No, no, they are legendaries. The light trio are legendaries. Oh, yeah, they came from the alternate timelines. Right, right, right. I mean, until they decided today, you know what? Let's uh, let's go flip things around. All right, we have an absolutely garbage pathing. Yay! We're gonna lose this. Let's. We have literally nothing. But after our alternate timelines, I'll get to be zipped. Uh, I will become wanted in Paul Day for war crimes of binging invasive species. Manaphy has its own logic. Well, Manaphy is... Manaphy falls into the same category as a Pokemon like Shedinja. In that... Let's just add a thing for the identity. Finally, I'm... Oh, nice, Ginkai. Very, 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 very nice. Getting trying to score a bunny. Delightful. Um, we're gonna lose this, probably. We're gonna probably lose this. Uh, it's funny how bad Kyogre Diaz is. It's funny how bad Kyogre is in DA. I expected to struggle with it. How are you not struggling with Kyogre, Christian? I have several questions. Why does nothing feel like a legendary anymore? Um, because they've been trying to get player friendly. Hello there, Team Grookey. Is there any Pokemon presents in all, I guess? Are we getting those? Really um, there is always a Pokemon Presents in, like, June and in August. We're probably not getting any more news for Legend ZA for a while. No, Quaxley is not a Paldean Ducklet. Yeah, no, we're, we're probably not getting more info on Legend ZA, as in new info on Legend ZA, until we probably get three months from that game's release. We beat it with a Clefairy, Octillery, and Nile. How? How, Anxious Christian? How did you beat it with that? I have several questions. I have a very long list of questions. Oh, that Black Cloud. Yeah, I guess we just hold on to our whole team, and then we just see what steel type we're up against. I'm hoping it's Kartana. I'm I'm hoping we fight Cardi Face. But yeah, I I don't expect us to get any news on Legend ZA for a long time, for one reason. Over the last several years, they have been gradually scaling back the information they have been basically handing out to us before a game releases, so they can basically control the narrative of the game and also root out and also root out who's leaking information. But yeah, no, that's again, it's it's not great, but it's all we got. That's not great, but it's all we got. Um, I guess we go. <sighs> um, Foxy, I want you to switch out the, uh, I want you to switch out Cloak for the Raichu. My face when three Italian gangsters are dancing trying to get information out of me. I'm screwed. I beat Zygarde and Groudon without wide guard, so Kyogre has been <sighs> around online for a while. Hypnosis as we, oh, so you clowned on it. You, you, you put it to sleep. All right, you, you cheesed the fight. Okay, that's why you had an easy time. You just cheesed the fight. I beat Zygarde and Groudon without White Guard. It's hard to put, yeah, Groudon, yeah, Groudon is a very, Groudon and Zygarde are a difficult one. Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like. Ah, yes! JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind! No sleep status, just pure strength. Just pure strength. What are we doing this for? Um, we've been doing this for about... 
an hour and a half, but this is our final Dynamax adventure because it is very late here. Um... No, he, he, that, he, that's a reference to, I'm assuming, Bruno Bucciarati from JoJo. Hello there, Zuikun, not a fed. How do you do? How, how does not fed things go? What do I by an SCP? I have no clue. It wasn't a sleep long to three acid sprays. Yeah, acid spray, I mean, acid spray is the great equalizer when it comes to Dynamax Adventures. It's so good. It's so good. Good being non-fed. Yeah, no, not a lot of people haven't seen JoJo. I enjoy JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Hello there, the cat. How do you do? No shinies yet. Well, what do you call not the zippers and zippers? I don't know. Bucciarati is great. I don't know. I mean, Jotaro is, is still best. Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like. And, um, again, this is this is not a gaming channel. This is a Godzilla propaganda channel, and this guy is a gaming channel. Godzilla number one. Um, we do not switch out for anything. Um, I... I think we just fight the Haunter, because, like, Haunter can't really do anything to us. Yes, as also you know of a propaganda channel, yes. the So, Alex, you may hate me for saying this, but you know the Japanese VA for Jotaro, correct? Um, the Japanese VA for Jotaro... Voices Leon in the Japanese version of the Pokemon Journeys anime. Which I freaking love that the guy that voices Jotaro voices that absolute goofball. Because again, I, I, I will say this. I like the fact that, like, Leon is just basically a dumbass. I love that. Like, he, he, he's, he's just a generalized dumbass. I had the same side going to a friend you know. I've never watched Has Been Hotel. Leon is pounds with directions. Like, I love it. The reason I like that is because I've known a number of people who do go to, like, those high-level competitive tournaments, and that's how they are. They're just regular people. Because, like... Yeah, it's awesome having people like um like Lee uh like Cynthia and Steven and all their like these do these absolutely amazing like you know personalities and like these absolutely these great monoliths of magnificence. But Leon's just a dude. He's a guy who just really likes battling. And he's chill I love that. You know, he is Again, the joke is he's a himbo, which apparently he is. Like, apparently he fits into the qualifications from the TV Tropes page. Which, by the way, I have a chronic addiction to reading TV Tropes pages. Um, don't go to TV Tropes, because TV Tropes will ruin your life. He is. He, he apparently is. So again, it, 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 TV, TV Tropes, there's literally a page on TVTropes.com that is literally, TV Tropes will ruin your life. Yeah. I have never looked at TV Tropes. Again, it, it's freaking hilarious. I love it. I have never needed to hear that limb on his <laughs> We get a chance to get to Shiny also. Thank you very much, Jackson. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Is the Ambrose and Garchomp Goldango good doubles team core? Other the members are Heatran, Weavile, Ludicolo. Interesting. Not a, I, that's an interesting combination. That's an interesting combo. I'm really hoping that this is... I'm really hoping this is Kartana. If this is Kartana, we're perfectly fine. So long as it isn't Dialga, we're good. Oh! Hello there! Hello there, Mr. Lionheart Plays. How do you do? Uh, this is awkward. 
This this is incredibly awkward. Rotom, you need to burn this thing. Um, you 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 need to burn this thing with Willow Miss. Can I? Can I hit you with Worry Seed? Can I get rid of Full Metal Body? Yes, but this is a Solgaleo. This, this is, this is a Solgaleo. This is a very, 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 very bulky legendary. Solgaleo is a legendary that combines the inordinately massive bulk of Lugia and Giratina with the aggressive att Okay, so I can decrease your stats. Okay, that's good. Um, with the absolutely aggressive stats of other legendaries. This thing is terrifying. This thing is horrifying, to say the least. Hello there, Alan. Need to get my copies of both for Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm gonna have to check the lost and found business trip this week, since my September trip was around last to remember having him. Wait, wait, wait. You you lost your Pokemon games on a trip? Wait, didn't you have your box of Ultra and Ultra Moon like a few days ago? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh boy, this is not. Oh, this is this is this is this is, this is dangerous. This is dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. First thing I learned, a random ocarina found on Nami's song. Oh yeah, we did a we did an ocarina time blind playthrough, which was fun. Again, if you guys haven't done so already. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like. And let's rock and roll. There we go, we hit the thing, and now it's probably going to purge away its stats, it's probably going to purge away its stat debuffs. Oh, this, again, this, this thing is just bulky, it does not die. Dearling, what do we do? Release it! Release the deerling! Release the shiny deerling! They deserve incineration! It deserves incineration. And of course it purges away its debuff. <laughs> Again, this is why Zogalio is terrifying. Okay, this is not good for our hero. This is not good for our hero. This is not good for our hero. This is not good for our heroes. All right, we need that Rotom to Dynamax and we need that Rotom to Dynamax and use Max Ghost Move. Paralyze, please. Okay, this is not good. Okay. I have a problem with Deerling, because I have found 17 of those shiny things while I was shiny hunting various assorted shiny Pokemon. The thing has consumed. Deerling consumed more Herb Mystica than my Roaring Moon Hunt. So yes, I have a little bit of a chip on my shoulder from that thing. I'm gonna release the shiny and set one of a human money at a boil a bottle blue. Oh, we, 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 we are in danger. We are in danger. We are in danger. No, Deerling does not want to be our friend forever. Deerling needs to learn to stop being a pain in the in the gonads. See, Gouging Fire, I have a respect for. I respect Gouging Fire even if I fear it. Because the thing is, to fear something is to respect its potential to body you. I respect Gouging Fire even if I fear it. 
I have one shiny dealing with one than that shiny, but it's a good book one. This is not good. This is not good. This is bad. Yes, this, again, Solgaleo, very, very difficult shiny. I wish we'd gone for that freaking... Cro Had I known that Crawdaunt was the dark type, I would have gone for that, because that's just a good Pokemon against uh, steel types in general. Um, but we... I can't even use Shadow Sneak on this thing because it, uh, Psychic Terrain disables priority. Please give special attack boost. That is completely useless. Fire Spin. Oh yeah, you have, uh, you have both Fire Spin and you have... Uh, Flare Blitz. This is, uh... Oh, this is dicey. This is very, 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 very dicey. See, I could finish this thing off. I could finish this thing off with Shadow Sneak. If it weren't for the fact Psychic Terrain is in play. Because Psychic Terrain disables all priority moves. Um, okay. It's, 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 it's not terrible. It's not terribad. It's not terribad. Okay, is that head bonk? We win! Oh, that's, I'm surprised we won that. I'm I'm legitimately surprised we won that. All right, this is our last. That was our last DA of the night. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more. Let's go find somebody to raid. And thank you all. Again, we literally could not do any of this without you. Solgaleo moment. Solgaleo moment. This is a certified lion moment. No shiny Gorgeist. No shiny Raichu Lola form. No shiny Hunter. No shiny Solgaleo. Good bar. All right, let's go find somebody to raid. Stop replay buffer. Again, shinies don't exist. Shinies, shinies, shinies do not exist. Okay, let's see, who do we raid? Shrimple time runs. Yo, oh, nice, but KMD doing good. But KMD is doing good. Um, I think we're gonna go raid Neko. Alita, she is doing some Pokemon Snap. And and I I don't I don't mean Pokemon Snap as in new Pokemon Snap. I mean old school N64 Pokemon Snap. So copy that raid tag, the mechanized Maxis raid tag. Let's go raid. This is a glorious night. Thank you everyone. Again, we literally could not do this without you. We literally could not do any of this without you wonderful, wonderful people. But see you tomorrow. I've been Minimaxis. Long live the Kaiju King.